question 32 6p divided by 5q plus 4r divided by 3s is what is it equal to this is all about adding two fractions do it take a minute and a half to do it and then come back all right you've paused the video and you've done it what did you get let's work it through it together you have 6p 6p over 5q plus 4r I just write my r as big r over 3s now it's really two fractions added together it's just that you have numbers and letters mixed up now what's the LCM of 5q and 3s it is 5q 3s all right 5q into 5q 3s goes 3s time 3s times 6p is 6 is 3 by 6 ps plus 3s into 5q 3s is 5q 5q times 4r is 5 by 4 by q by r so what does this give you 3 6 18 ps plus 5 4 is 20 20 q by r is q r all over 5 by 3 5 by 3 give you 15 and q by s is q s so it is d that is the answer all right so it's D. D is the answer for this. I'm thinking, what other way could you do this? Here, if you absolutely cannot remember how to add these as fractions, and you have enough time to do this let's see what you what you could do with this thing suppose you make p equal 1 q equal 2 r equal 3 s equal 4 the top here would be 6 by 1 over 5 q 5 by 2 plus 4 by r 4 by 3 over 3 s 3 by 4 that would be 6 over 10 plus 4 3 is 12 over 3 4 is 12 hmm. this works out nicely 6 so 6 tenth is the same as 3 over 5 3 fifth but 6 tenth is 0 0.6 plus 1 which is 1.6 now which one of these work out like it at 1.6 if you try 10 times p which is 1 times r which is 3 over 8 times q which is 2 times s which is 4 that would give you 10 trees 30 up top over 8 2's uh, 8 4 is 32 32 2 64 well this is going to be a smaller number than 1 it wouldn't work but but if you try them and you see this one 18 times p which is 1 times s which is 3 over no plus plus 20 times q which is uh, q is what 2 times r r is 3 so 18 times p which is 1 times s no s is 4 it should have been 4 times s which is 4 plus 20 by q q is 2 times r which is 3 all over 15 times q is 2 times s which is 4 and <coughs> what you would get up top is 18 
by 4. Let me see if I can find a little space here. Or let me just get rid of some of these. Remember, this is a tryout if you absolutely don't remember or don't know how to add the fractions. Now, here, 18 by 4. 4 8 32, that's 2. Carry down the 2. Carry 3, 4, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 72. Plus 22 is 40. 4 3 is 12. This is 120. Over 15, 2 is 30. By 4. So I have 120 plus 72. 712 is 9. That's 190 plus 2. 192 over. 3, 4, 12. So that's 120. This looks like one hole and somewhat more. It looks close to 1.6. If I should say 2 into 192, 2 into 19 goes 9, cos 2, 9, 18, remainder 1, 2 into 12, 6. This would be 96 over 60, which is 2 into 9 goes 4 times 1, 2 into 16, 848 over 2 into 60, 30. This would become 2 into 48, 2 into 4, 2, 2 into 8, 4 over 15, 24 over 15, 3 into 24 goes 8, 3 into 15, 5, 5. 8 over 5 is what? It's 1. Remainder 3. 1 and 3 fifth, which is 1.6. But anyway, that's another method by which you could do it. What I would recommend, if you meet upon a question like this, and you know from first that you're going to have a difficult time, make a little note of it and move on when you finish answering the rest of the question once you have enough time you can come back to it and do this all right if time is really running out fast then you can just guess this multiple choice so that's those are some of the strategies you could use if you absolutely know from first that you're going to have a difficult time answering a question like this.